All right, so it's been a minute since we went fishing. A lot of stuff happened. There were there were other games going on, you know, that sort of thing. But then the stars aligned. The developers came out with an update. And in the update, yeah, you can crab fish properly in like December. So we are going to go crabbing. This, uh, I don't even remember what the name of this boat is because it's not important. We have renamed it. It's called the Crab Shack for obvious reasons. It's a big old, it's a big old boat. And well, it's for, for crabbing. Look at all these ass beautiful little state rooms, you know, got a full service kitchen. Uh, I don't know where the captain's room is though. Hopefully the captain's room is like up top, like a penthouse suite. And, okay, we can't close that. We're gonna leave that door because it's fine. And here's the deck. We're gonna close that. Here's the deck. And we have crab pots. Endless amounts of crab pots. So many crab pots. You'll see more of this deck because we are gonna go and we are gonna be fishing. We got the crew and we're gonna make the crew do the actual fishing because they're gonna get good at fishing. And, and I got to get warm and stay inside. You know how this works. Now, it may seem like it was only minutes since we left this deck, but it's been several hours. We have sailed down to what I think are good crabbing grounds, and we're trying to set the pot. However, the guy who is on the actual bait, well, not the bait guy, but the pot guy, he doesn't seem to understand how you put the bait in the pot. Now, I figured this out later that it says set baited pot. It's on the game. The game will not update and say like, hey, set baited pot. Once he has actually put bait in, you have to change screens and come back. It's a little bit annoying, but just dress assured. If you see us setting a pot that says unbaited, it has bait in it because we want to catch all the crab. All right, our pot setting adventures continue. Now we are several hours later again. We have set a good amount of pots and you have missed nothing. Because it has been me marching down from the wheelhouse over and over again, cross the deck, angrily stomping my feet, throwing fish into the crab pot because I didn't think the guy knew what he was doing. There's no way to know, but it turns out we've just, you know, doubled up on the fish, I guess. I don't know, but they are, they're fine now. I am back in the wheelhouse. I got coffee going. And we're, we're set, we're set. And I know many of you are gonna take pity on me for having, cause here, here we go again, angrily stomping. You're gonna take pity on me for this work that I have to do. It's a lot of hard work to, to run down here and yell at the crew. And the we best way, the best way to cheer me up and make sure that I will continue driving this crew as hard as they deserve to drop a like and maybe even subscribe and if you have some words for the crew put them in the comments below i will read them to the crew over the pa of course Yeah, don't worry. It took me many, many hours to figure out that it was just a visual bug telling me that the pots were not baited. Nighttime, daytime, anytime, I was out there. I was out there baiting those pots, working with my hands. I'd show you my hands, but they are, they are calloused and... Uh, there is no good lotion on the ocean. Ocean, what? I want to apologize for my 
lotion on the ocean rhyme. That is not the kind of poetry that you come here for. But instead, what we are going to do is we're going to deflect from that and direct your eyes to the sonar. Somehow we have hit a very fishy spot out here. And there, there's a lot of fish. There is a lot of shellfish on the bottom. And we have a good amount of crab pots left. And we're going to drop them all. This will be the longest set ever. I mean, we'll continue dropping them until there's no fish, right? Or we hit land. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we won't hit land. Yeah, as you can see, there is no end to the fish or the crab on the bottom. And we're just going to keep setting. We got 50 pots total, which means we have a few more before we finish out dropping all our pots in the ocean. All right, so we set 50 pots. We have three different sets. I think there's like, you know, 15 and 15 and then like half a million of them in one. And I was going to take this this string up without showing you guys. But I realized that maybe a cautionary tale is important. It turns out that when you are setting crab pots and, and you're anger setting crab pots because your crew can't figure out how to bait the pot and you're down there helping them, the game will not tell you that you can't set the pots too close to each other. And when you do that, uh, things like this happen. Okay? We're out here on this little loopy thing is that we had crab pots, as, as you can see, we had one loaded. And we were trying to drop them, you know, one after another. But it, it, it just got complicated. Because in this view, you're not allowed to drop them within a uh, hundred meters from each other. But if you're on the deck, you can drop a hundred of them on top of each other. So, fixed it, turn them back around. We set some of them back and we put some on the deck and we have moved on to our next set of pots. As you might have noticed, if you're eagle-eyed, we didn't really catch that much crab. And I thought, yeah, that's probably because we stacked them on top. This one is going to be a lot better. If we can find it. If we can find it out here in the darkness. I did find something else out in the darkness, though. And uh, what has me a little bit concerned. I'm not sure what that is. Kind of looks like a whale. You know, like a breaching whale, but it's like mid breach. So it hasn't like, so we're not going to go check on that though, because I am not well educated when it comes to uh, slow motion breaching whales. We're going to get some of these pots up and uh, well, I'll just rejoin you once the we were full of crap. Now, it turns out that despite Sonar telling us that there's a lot of crab in the area, there's not a lot of crab in the area. We were getting crab, and I'm sure that some of it has to do with the fact that we are training our crew to do all the sorting and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure they're sorting out stuff that they shouldn't. And, and I'm really hoping they are not putting stuff in the tanks 
that they shouldn't. Well, guess guess we'll see when we get back. But so far, this is the slowest fishing I have ever done in this game. Like you think that harpoon fishing was annoying? This this meandering meandering boats up and because because okay so here's the deal right you got to get up on the pot which had had no crab in it okay so i got time to talk now since there was nothing going on you got to get up on the pot and once you have the pot if you set them within a hundred um meters of each other you have to stop you have to actually have the boat come to a stop while they're sorting the crab if you want to reset back behind so i gotta figure out i mean i'm sure there are people out there that watch like these crab shows or maybe they're even crabbers and then you can tell me like no that's not how we do it you know you give 200 meters or something and you move the thing around but what if i just want to set it back that's the problem i want to set it back in the same area and um they did just too tight so i gotta figure that out but it's a very slow and labor intensive job instead of just kind of like keep on cruising because when it was with nets and all that stuff you know it just stops on its own here i gotta do all the work myself and if there's one thing i am not good at is doing all the work myself because i did not become a captain of of a crabber because i i was industrious I figured this would be the laziest of positions drinking red bull you know watching tv whatever they do up there in the in the wheelhouse all right this area had crab when we set uh, it doesn't have crab now. It did have crab when we said. Now, I'm still running the sonar. I must have left. But you can tell I even put down a thing on the map with a big old crab. And, and if we go back to being lazy, I mean, if you're lazy, you're not going to put down a big old... Here, it's even on the sonar. It's right there. This pot is right on top of a crab. It's it's literally sitting on top of that crab in the... In the uh, water there so you know fingers crossed all that let's hope that this is a lot now we won't know because they got a sword and everything and this is what i'm talking about now we had to come to like a complete stop if i want to reset you know and reset this back behind because if i move any further now i will move into the the collision area of the next pot so the game won't let me set it there so i can drop it here and now i can move forward and i'm guessing like in 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 real life you would just drop it close to the other one pull the other one up but it just it doesn't work that way here so of course in other non-shocking news the pot that sat right on top of where the crab was on the sonar had exactly zero crabs that the crew wanted to keep so that was fantastic And uh, welcome back. I only brought you back to show off the sunrise, which has this strange purple color to it. We're about 32, 33 pots in out of this, the 50 pots that we had total, somewhere around 2,500 kilos. Now with a hold that can take up to 140,000 kilos, I am not super optimistic that on the last 20 pots, we are going to fill up the boat. But there's some term out there about that's why they call it fishing and not catching or something like that. But we'll continue down the line. 
we'll pick up what we got left we'll set out what we have and then we'll just we see where we stand we'll see where we stand My optimism has wavered a little bit. It does not look like we are going to hit the 140,000 kilos by the end of our first 50 pots. Now, of course, the exciting thing with that is that, well, we're gonna have to make another video so that you get to see the riveting conclusion to this fishing trip. Thank you so much for watching. I am going to stomp down angrily on deck and yell at the crew for something. I will make something up on my way down there. But we will see you on the next one. Have a good one. Oh. Oh, it's just a guy hanging out. <laughs> this is more boring than I thought it would be. Egg, 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 egg. I can't. Oh, I can't.